Hey, Mom, what'd you get? I got my weather tech for my uh, 2016 Ram Promaster 1500 136 inch wheelbase. Floor mats? Yes. One piece? One piece. And we just let it kind of unfold in the heat and off gas just a bit for about an hour. Ready to roll. Oops. I gotta wipe it off. And they did come in a one box type of a thing and it was folded in half. So if you're wondering what size box. Because the first box that we ended up getting was uh, for the ProMaster City. Same bike. I'm gonna wash that. Oh, no. Actually, I'm not gonna use this. Here, throw this mat in. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna wipe that. Your baby wipes are over there in the passenger seat. Here it is. That's all I need. This is all. Get some dirt on it. Okay. All right. Now I see those little tabs on the bottom of them, right there. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. I don't think we're gonna put those in anyways. So. Or we will after we try this. Oh, I see. Okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I would leave it that way. That's fine. That way you don't have to rip the Except floor off of the mat. Except it doesn't go up in here to cover any dirt that's in here or in here. It doesn't go up in here and it doesn't go behind the pedals. I guess that's a safety feature. I don't know. Oh, it stops right there. I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. I don't ride with my shoes on anyway. That's odd. Keep the dirt out. Yeah, it does. It doesn't go all the way up, which is weird. You would think that it would, but yeah. maybe that was because of the uh, trying to get it underneath the hump there or something. No, it's easy. It's slid under. No, I'm saying if you had this extra piece and you would have to fiddle with that to get that underneath the hump. And, uh, over to the other side of the floor. What about the other side? What's it look like? Oh, it goes all the way up. It goes all the way up like you would expect for here. See? All the way up. That's what I thought would help in the... Yeah, that's what I thought would have been over there on the other side. Yeah. For the driver's side. But anyways, yeah, this is perfect. These are the best type of floor mat. Do not ever waste your time trying to get something else. Yeah. That's what it looks like. It's, a, it's an absolute floor liner for it. This has a little uh, curvy thing here. But I do see I do see this here. If like water ever did get built up in here, all it's gonna do is just it's gonna run over the edge here and then pour down here and then out the side of the car through the floor. Mm. Now it does have these little detents on here. Right here where you can, it'll, it'll hold the mat down to the ground, see it? It's little red tabs underneath. But we didn't you know, we didn't put that on there because uh, you'd have to keep pulling, prying on this thing to get it off of there. 
and it sits perfectly in here with the seat mounts. You see, like it's not going to move anywhere, it just butts right up against the seats here. So if you ever do need to get underneath there, it's a lot easier. What do you think, Lulu? Want to see? You want to see the new weather tech? Look at here. Look at this. Look, Lulu. Wow, pretty snazzy, huh? You like it? Feels good on your feet, you said? Oh, she says she loves it. See, the tail's wagging. That means yes. Let's put the other thing in there. Okay, windows. Um, windows. You got the weather tech window. Yeah, uh, I gotta go get deflectors. My So what did you end up getting now? These um, weather tech um, wind deflectors. Yeah. So this uh, right here it says that um, stop. You must read the the instructions. This bottom edge here must rest on top of the outside weather strip. So on top of the out weather well, strip, like that, and I'm sticking it in that way. In the corner. Try the top part first. It said to put it... Uh, there you go. No, it said to put this side in first. All right, then pull this that bottom. This part of this first. It said to put this in. Maybe that wasn't the right instructions. Maybe it was this way. No, put that corner in first. Put that inside corner in first. It doesn't seem to be what they said, but oh, here we go. There we go. That's a crank going nowhere. All right, so this is the reason why we went with the weather tech is because they actually sit inside of the weather trim, inside of the trim instead of adhesive to the outside of the, the door. And if you get it so it is, if you get the ones that adhesive to the outside of the door, if it gets too cold or too hot, they'll just peel right off. These, these are just pressure fitted into this section. that window make sure it works no shoes in the house <laughs> no. that's nice now you can just leave your window cracked down to here right here right here bring your window there Bring it up more. And then you can still have ventilation when there's rain coming down. Yeah. All right, put the other one in. It's definitely tight. Does it fit? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not going anywhere? going anywhere perfect no, it's seriously tight so this is why you want to spend just the i think it's like 30 dollars more over the adhesive ones but this is why you go with the weather tech ones it's right. definitely worth the money yeah. so i'm going to pull this one up
on on this one put the top piece in first and then put the leg in because the leg has more flex in it than the top part yeah, i could have sworn when i was reading it that said to uh put both corners in first but yes it's not gonna... nope the way you think you had it last time how you did it? Oh, the foot first. All right, so put the long side in first. The foot, yeah. And then we went in here, like you had suggested, actually. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so yeah. insert the long side first, the corner of the top, and then flex Bring that. Bring it down here, about down here. Flex it out to about here, and then get it in, and then keep pulling it out, and then in you go. It, you'll, you'll feel the thing go in. Tight. I'm not going anywhere. All right. It is, it is tight. So just roll your window up a couple times to let it all set in. And then you're good to go. Roll it down to here. Stop right here to there where you're gonna. Yeah, you can definitely let some ventilation in through there. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, you could even bring it down to here level. Keep going right there. I, I bet you you could do that. Cause look, I can't even get my hand in there. And that's definitely letting more airflow in. All right. So that was it right here in the water tech. So what do you think of your uh, weather tech? Thanks. Set up. Yeah, we'll see how uh, when I'm driving, you know, make sure I think it's going to be fine. Oh, Amazing. Yep. Good job. You, this window needs to go up. Okay, this, you want to put this in the trash? Are we good? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what did you use to uh, install your all your WeatherTech gear? Um, just a ladder to reach it in my hands. That's it? How do you like it? And your keys to open up the windows. Yeah, I like it. I've had these before, but uh, not weather tech, so it's going to be nice to use them. But I've had them on other vehicles on my truck, and I love them. Because, yeah, when it's raining, you can still take them down, take down the window and have fresh air. Right, but on your the other ones that you had, they were the adhesive type. Yeah. And they popped off. Yeah. When do we get hot yeah, or we in the cold? Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's it. Peace.